On this episode of Be the Teacher, three tips for developing character relationships. On the last episode, we discussed open scenes. We discussed developing scenarios, and now we are going to build on that concept by talking about a topic that deserves its own video, relationship. I will use an article by Rob Adler, an onstage acting coach, to guide this discussion of relationship. Sometimes, actors show up to set, are introduced to their co-star, and have to hop into a scene together like they have been friends for years. In the fast-paced world of film and television, especially during auditions, chemistry reads, and network tests, there often isn't time for actors to create detailed relationships the way they've been trained. Many actors wind up substituting pre-planned emotions and feelings for relationships or otherwise try and cram a backstory into their head, which, in the allotted time, only keeps them in their head. Instead of spending your time stuck in your head with relationship backstory or focusing on feelings, which change, in other words, sometimes I love my brother, sometimes I hate him, but he's always my brother, consider the ways people demonstrate relationship more consistently. Try these tips to stay in the present and truthfully communicate detailed relationships regardless of how you feel in the moment. Tip number one, name the relationship. To avoid the trap of pre-planning feelings, label the relationship so you can be free to explore the way the characters relate to one another in a truthful context. If you're playing Hamlet and Gertrude, the given relationship is mother and son. As artists, we can also choose to paint with different colors. As actors in a relationship, we may want to use a metaphor. Laurence Olivier explored and heightened Shakespeare's text without changing a word by famously communicating that Gertrude and Hamlet were lovers. Or in American Hustle, Christian Bale and Jennifer Lawrence are husband and wife, but there are scenes when he treats her like his child. Tip number two, physicalize it. If the scene were dubbed into a foreign language, how would the audience see the relationship? This is important for getting your choices out of your head and into the frame or stage. What can you do to truthfully reveal the relationship? How can you show the relationship so that it's unmistakable, even if it were dubbed in Mandarin? Even a detailed backstory is useless if it remains in your head. One way to explore this is to make physical contact with your scene partner. So much is revealed through touch. You can increase the challenge by finding ways of making contact without your hands, even if it's out of frame. That means no one will see it. It will inform the relationship. In other words, touching toes under the table can spark a sparkle in the eyes. Watch Richard Burton, Elizabeth Taylor, and Mike Nichols' film, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, on mute. You'll see every nuance of their relationship. Tip number three, seek tension. In our last episode, two actors were playing sisters in a power struggle. Tension built as they got closer to each other. In fact, let's imagine they were nose-to-nose at the climax. If the older sister won the beat verbally, but the actor stepped back, it would appear visually like she lost. Many times as an actor, we feel the physical discomfort of tension and release the tension by stepping away. We must maintain the physical tension. Another common relationship trap is when actors view their scene partners as an opponent on the other side of a boxing ring or a chessboard. While this might encourage the fighting spirit, it also may overlook the very important collaborative role of relating with your partner while in conflict. To explore working together to create tension, play Viola Spolin's Tug of War game. Put an invisible space rope between you and your partner. The rope illustrates the high level of connection it takes to relate in conflict. Use as much energy as you would to pull a real rope to your side. If both players pull but don't collaborate, the space rope will stretch or slacken and there is no conflict, just sound and fury signifying nothing. If instead both players are unified and seek to pull the rope, physicalize it while simultaneously maintaining tension in the rope together, a magical thing happens. A previously invisible relationship fills the space between them. Today's theater, TV, and film auditions are moving at hyperspeed and require quick, clear action to land the job. And when you're on set, you're often required to work with strangers. The next time you need to show the camera or audience complex, detailed, truthful relationships fast, keep these tips in mind. Together with a partner, you can make something greater than just a winner and a loser. Remember, it takes two to tango. 
So that's it for this episode of Be The Teacher. And you learned three tips. You learned to seek tension. You learned to physicalize a relationship. And you learned to name the relationship. Hopefully, this Be The Teacher won't only help you with open scenes, but it will help you with the more traditional scenes that you explore as an actor. And during an audition, these tips just might get you the part you're looking for. All right. I had a great time. I hope you did too. And I'll see you on the next episode of Be The Teacher.